大家好，呃，我是李晴宇，我现在在中国城，旧金山的中国城，最古老的中国城在美国。我在这里要看到多少字我可以认识。So my name is Michael McTarris. I'm here in San Francisco Chinatown, the oldest Chinatown in the United States. And I'm going to try to see. How many Chinese characters I can understand or read? Let's start here with this sign. All right. So um, this first one is uh, is one. W A N fourth tone going down. Okay. And so this represents ten thousand. Ten thousand. Right. From what I understand, the original、um, like reason that this character is shaped the way it is is that it was originally designed after a scorpion, right? So a scorpion has its like claws out, right? And it can sting you, and it can it can really get you. So it's ten thousand. It's really powerful. Okay, so that's one. The second one here is wa wa. Okay, that represents,、um, I believe, like the、uh, like Han people. So if you're talking about like Hua Ren, you're talking about like the Han people, the Chinese people, the ethnicity, right? The Chinese ethnicity, or is predominantly Han people. So they call themselves Hua Ren. Okay. So this next one here is Zhong. That just means middle or central. Okay, so China itself is called Zhongguo. It just means central country, right? So they view themselves as the center of the world, right? Every country sees themselves kind of as the center of the world, but China, especially. And if you look at the character, it's like a it's like a box with like a line going down the middle. So that's how you can remember it, right? Zhong, Zhong. Okay. This next one is Yao, Yao, Y A O, Yao, fourth tone going down. Okay, and this means、um, medicine. Okay, healing or medicine, right? And what's cool about this character is it's made of two components. The top component is what's called a grass radical. Okay, you see it on top of things that have to do with plants, right, and、uh, nature, and the bottom. Took off the grass radical would say the word la, which means music. L e la fourth tone, right? So music, right, was very important to Chinese people in ancient times when when it came to healing. Actually, each of the five notes of the pentatonic scale, right, represent. Organ in your body, okay. And so, if you were like sick, a certain part of your body was sick, the doctor would analyze it for you, and then he would say, "Oh, well, you need some music in in the you know in the key of G." So let's give him some G. Yao, 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 wo, yao, yao, yao. Okay. So that's medicine. Okay. And then the last one is Hang, right? Which I believe just means like a um, like uh, 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 storefront, right, or a place, right, that you go to. Like the bank is called Yin Hang, right, the silver place, the silver market. Okay, so here we have Wan Hua, Zhong Yao, Hang. So let's try to remember that. Wan, 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 Wan.
Zhong Yao, the middle medicine. Um. So let's review it. Let's say it together three times. Guan, Gua, Zhong Yao, Hang. Guan, Gua, Zhong Yao, Hang. Guan, Gua, Zhong Yao, Hang. Now it's your turn. You can do it. Next time you see some Chinese characters, wherever you live, they're all over the place. Look at it. Write it down. Think about it. Ask your Chinese friend. I'm sure they will help you out. This was the first episode of Michael Nectaris learning Chinese characters in Chinatown. How did I do? Not too bad, but we'll see next episode. Will I know all the characters? Who knows? There's like 50,000 of them, so probably not. Thanks, you guys. Subscribe to our page. We'll see you later. Zai Jian.